with a boy, an idea, and a science fair in New York City. The boy was Victor Scheinman, 16, a senior at the New Lincoln School. The idea, a device for printing a spoken letter. A challenging idea, a project on which he needed help. And so he went to his science teacher to outline his theories, his plans, and his problems. Victor knew that sound travels through the air and the, and the parts needed for the project and the way in which they should be arranged. Victor was now on his own to put his principle into practice. In the basement of his home, where in past years he built such devices as an electronic banjo and an amateur lie detector, he tackled his still unnamed project. The microphone would convert the letters into low voltage current. Electrical impulse would type out the spoken letter. But would it work? A. A. A, A. So far, a success. But what would he call it? MV, Electromechanical Voice Inscriber. That was the name Victor had chosen as he exhibited. T, T, T. A boy and a challenge. Victor Scheinman and MV, just one of 3,000 students, boys and girls, exhibiting at the New York Science Fair. Each had been challenged, each had met the challenge, and having done so, all would be better students and better